Now let's talk a little bit about what we saw here on Friday. If we look at the VIX, the VIX again had a big move up on Friday, right? The VIX was up something like close to 20%. See this big green candle right here? We actually pierced $20 on the VIX. Now, for those of you that don't know, the VIX is your fear indicator. The higher it goes, the more fear is in the market. Now, you might say, wow, that popped quite a bit, making a short-term high, but now it's retracing back down. Now, this is my thesis on why I expect a bounce early today, and we're seeing it in the futures. On Friday, you had a lot of fear, and this is why when people buy the VIX, they're basically buying protection for their portfolio, and that's why it's known as the fear index. You buy the VIX when you're fearful. So when you saw the big pop in the VIX, essentially what was happening here was people were going into the weekend saying, oh my goodness, we know what's going on with Hamas and Israel. What if over the weekend it spreads all over the Middle East, maybe becomes a much bigger conflict, therefore they had to buy the VIX, right? They were buying the protection by buying the VIX. And we saw, again, yields actually going down on Friday. I just showed you that, and we're actually bouncing back a little bit today on yields. Because when you buy bonds for protection, yields go down. So it really made sense why the market sold off on Friday, yields actually went down on Friday, and the VIX was going up. Now, if we go to a couple other charts, let's go back to the 10-year yield. Today, the 10-year yield is bouncing back. Why? Well, because as horrific as the situation there is, it didn't spread over the weekend. So yields on the daily chart are getting a small green candle back up following the red candle on the daily chart. I mean, again, this is the stuff that as a trader, you have to be able to put together. You have to be able to put these pieces of the puzzle together and understand because what it did for me was it made me recognize that there's likely, if nothing goes crazy over the weekend and it really doesn't kind of engulf the entire region over there, you might see a small technical bounce back in the markets today. 